Starscream and Shockwave secretly work together to desperately revive the Decepticons by attempting Project Predacon once more. Shockwave would clone the Predacons Skylinks and Darksteel as the first of their army, while Starscream was sent to found Predacon Bones. Starscream then came across the Predacon burial grounds and summoned Shockwave to follow. Unknown to both of them, Unicron in Megatron's upgraded body had arrived shortly after and was surprised that he wasn't the only one looking for Mighty Legions. Starscream seemed shocked that Megatron was alive, unaware it was actually Unicron, and praised the Allspark, claiming that Shockwave and him had worked tirelessly to clone more Predacons. After being violently informed by Unicron that he wished to destroy Cybertron and not conquer it, Darksteel and Skylinks attacked. After Unicron crushed Skylinks and Darksteel, Starscream witnessed Unicron raise the whole burial ground with Dark Energon. Starscream ran away, leaving Shockwave to defend himself. Starscream somehow got onto the Nemesis and freed Knockout along with several Viacons. When Knockout praised Starscream and told them they can finally get off the ship, Starscream informed him that they were to actually take over the ship, by any means necessary. Starscream, Knockout and many Viacons stormed the bridge and demanded the Autobots to turn over the ship, pointing the immobilizer at them. He was soon tricked by Bumblebee and was left struggling to hold onto the relic. Both him and Bumblebee were surprised as Knockout's hand, under the effects of the phase shifter, came through Starscream, snatched the immobilizer and whacked Starscream with it, knocking him out. Starscream escaped his prison cell when the undead Predacons damaged the ship and forced it to crash land. When Unicron was defeated and Megatron had control of his body again, Starscream rushed over to him and claimed that his new body armor would take things to the next level. When Megatron refused, Starscream then claimed he was traumatized. It took a shouting from Megatron to get him to shut up before flying away, telling the Autobots that they all have a lot to think about. Starscream flew to Darkmount and told himself that since Megatron no longer wishes to continue the Decepticons' cause, he would be all too glad to do so himself when making himself comfortable on a throne. He was interrupted by Predaking, Darksteel and Skylinks. When Starscream acted out of fear and told them that, perhaps a throne is more befitting for an actual king, Predaking responded that he did not wish to claim thrones, but to settle scores. As the three Predacons approached him, Starscream cowered on the throne, 